Hello everyone, welcome to Elevatechi Data Science Series. In today's video, let's see what are hyperparameters and model parameters in ML. First, let's see what are hyperparameters in ML. So, think of them as the external settings that we as a ML engineers configure before training our model. Also, they guide the learning process, but unlike the regular parameters, they are not learned from the data. Some of the examples of the hyperparameters are learning rate, which determines the step size clustering optimization and the batch size defining how many data points are processed at once. Another example are the number of hidden layers in the neural network. Next, let's see what is the importance of these hyperparameters. So, why are the hyperparameters important? So, well, the right choices can lead to the well-performing model. While poor choices might result in the underfitting and the overfitting, so it's like adjusting the dials of the radio to get the perfect signal. Tuning the hyperparameters. So, to find the optimal configuration, we engage in hyperparameter tuning. And this involves systematically trying different values for our hyperparameters. So, imagine it as finding a perfect recipe with just the right amount of each ingredient. Now let's see what are model parameters in ML. In ML, model parameters are like internal variables that our model learns during the training process. Unlike these hyperparameters which we set beforehand, these are fine-tuned based on the patterns in the training data. When it comes to the examples of model parameters, think of the model parameters as norms and switches that our algorithm adjusts to make accurate predictions. In a linear regression model, coefficient and intercept can be said as the examples of model parameters and in neural network, the weights and the biases of each neuron can be said as the model parameters. And why are the model parameters important? During the training process, the model iteratively adjusts these parameters to minimize the difference between its prediction and the actual outcomes in the training data. It's like the model fine-tuning its intuition to better understand the patterns it sees. When it comes to the impact of the predictions, the magic happens when we see our trained model to make predictions. The optimized parameters enables the model to generalize. It's essentially applying what it learned during the training to the real-world situations. So, how many model parameters do we need to select? So, sometimes if we have the too many parameters, our model might overfit the training data. That is memorizing it without understanding the underlying patterns. On the other hand, too few parameters can lead to underfitting, where the model oversimplifies and misses the important patterns. As we saw, what are hyperparameters and model parameters? Now, let's try to understand what is the difference between the hyperparameters and the model parameters? Hyperparameters are like the external configurations we choose that too before the training begins. Whereas the model parameters are the internal variables the model learns during the training. And the hyperparameters guide the learning process but aren't learned from the data. Whereas the model parameters are learned from the data. When it comes to the role of these parameters, for hyperparameters, choosing the right values is crucial for the model success. And for the model parameters, during training, the model fine-tunes these parameters to understand the patterns in the data. And when it comes to the impact, optimal hyperparameters contribute to the smooth learning process, while well-learned model parameters lead to accurate predictions. So this is all about hyperparameters and model parameters in ML. So that's all for this today's video guys. If you find this explanation helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more content on ML and data science. Thanks for watching the video and I'll see you in next video.